from times immemorial man has used animal's flesh as food he has used its skin hide and fur to protect himself from rain and snow and he has also trained these animals for transportation and carrying of loads since these animals are so beneficial to man it is our responsibility to take care of them now let us see how we can take care of cows and buffaloes cows and buffaloes are main animals that provide us with a very nutritious food which is known as the milk milk is a highly proteinaceous drink and for the production of milk cows and buffaloes should be fed with a high protein and a vitamin diet vitamins will help these cattle to protect themselves against various diseases the cow sheds must be clean and protected from disease causing germs the cattle should be examined periodically by veterinary doctors and finally milking should be done at fixed timings if these points are not followed then cattle uh, they easily have this disease which is known as the foot and the mouth disease symptoms of which are loss of appetite excessive salivation and soreness of mouth the other diseases that happen uh, commonly in cattle are anthrax and cowpox now just like the cattle man has also domesticated other animals such as sheep and goat for its milk wool and other products so sheep and goats should be fed with adequate amounts of chaff and seeds so that their proper body structure is maintained and they are able to protect themselves against variety of diseases their sheds should be dry and well ventilated because goats and sheep they are adapted to dry climates with less rain rainfall unlike other animals these animals are highly susceptible to pneumonia when their nose gets blocked and they have difficulties in breathing when this condition arises they should be made to inhale eucalyptus oil now at times of shearing of body for wool body must be cleaned of dung and dust so that there is no contamination of dung and dust with blood pig has been domesticated by man for its meat and for its skin so in the management of pigs the following points must be noted the pig sty should be both ventilated and heated to maintain healthy pigs vaccinations against diamond disease which is a common disease that occurs in pigs should be given as a precautionary measure and finally diet must consist of food that can be easily digested now this is because pigs have a very small alimentary canal now because of this short alimentary canal food does not remain inside for a long time so it is advised to feed them with small portions of food but thrice in a day not just animals but birds such as hens and cocks are highly beneficial to man because they provide us with eggs and meat now rearing and breeding of these birds is known as poultry farming now birds should be fed with grains and green food so that they can protect themselves against variety of diseases 
and they should be fed limestone because limestone helps in digestion and helps in the formation of the egg shells. These poultry should be provided with a large amount of water because a lot of water is required for egg production. Finally, the floor of the shelter should be covered with straw so that eggs laid do not get damaged. So these animals are highly benef beneficial to man, so it is our duty to take proper care of them. If we do not, they frequently suffer from variety of diseases which causes a huge economic setback as well.